2016 First Alert Weather Forecast. Whether you're heading out to church tomorrow morning or just plan to be out and about in general, it will be a wise idea to go ahead and set the alarm a little earlier uh, as we are tracking snow through the overnight hours. And I do think some of that snow is going to linger in the Chippewa Valley uh, tomorrow morning. But really by the 9 or 10 o'clock hour, that snow tapers off, leaving us dry through the rest of the day. Uh, the cloud cover is going to hang on and temperatures uh, not going to get too far. We'll start out into the low 30s and as you can see through the afternoon, we'll be holding steady there into the mid 30s. Radar tonight showing quiet weather conditions locally like I described during first weather. We have actually had some bouts of light snow, especially here in Eau Claire, but I do think that cloud cover is low enough in altitude that the radar beam both from Minneapolis and La Crosse is probably overshooting the cloud top and that's why it's actually not showing up on radar. But we take a gander to the southwest, especially across northwestern Iowa. That's where you start to see a little bit more of that precipitation showing up all in the form of snow right now from Algona along the line down to Storm Lake and some even towards Carroll, Iowa as well. But we have more in the way of widespread precipitation that is just south of the state here moving right over da uh, Davenport. And as you can see, this is all tracking to the northeast. It did start out as rain, but now that temperatures are cooling a little bit more, we're starting to see that transition over to a wintry mix, even some snow as well. And radar is going to continue to fill in here for tonight. Uh, across all of western Wisconsin, temperatures are very much uniform, mostly hanging out uh, from the low to mid 30s. We're at 36 in Nellsworth, 35 in Menominee, 34 right here in Eau Claire. And we have not really moved too much over the past few hours. We're at 33 in Rice Lake, mid 30s currently in La Crosse. You can see the extent of the cloud cover here on satellite and radar, that precipitation I just showed you. And now all that has to do with a storm system that's currently taking shape over Oklahoma. Here it is. And this is slowly but surely going to track to the northeast through Missouri and eventually into Illinois. And that's going to be the main driver for the snowfall that we do see here for tonight. That being said, let's go ahead and time it out for you with Skycast. We're dry at the moment, but around and especially after midnight, we'll start to see that snow filling in first off in our southern counties. But some of that scattered light snow does start to work into the Chippewa Valley. And here we are at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Skycast showing quite a bit of snow around the area. But like I said, by around 9, 10 o'clock, that snow does start to exit the area. And that's going to leave us with cloudy skies into the afternoon. So the big question you're wondering, how much snowfall? Luckily, it's not much, but it is enough to make things pretty slick. So that's why I'm saying you'll want to allow extra time on the roadways. If you live in this white contour, uh, that's where we're broadly expecting between a slushy dusting up to an inch of snow. Meanwhile, if you live in this blue contour, especially across parts of Vernon, Monroe, Jackson, Clark County, uh, you folks, I do think, could have a chance to see between one and three inches of snowfall. Through the rest of the day tomorrow, it does stay cloudy while well, mostly cloudy skies into tomorrow night. And as we head into Monday, it is going to be a dry day. More clouds and sunshine before the next clipper system does arrive. And that does look to bring some snow Monday night. We're at 36 for the high tomorrow, 40 on Monday. We do briefly cool to around 37 on Tuesday before warming nicely through the 40s the rest of next week. That's a look at your forecast. We'll send it back to you, Melanie.